All right, Shalom. First off, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostle elders, a great millstone. Honors and salutations to you, brothers, as preaching this word in sincerity and faith. And Shalom to you, sincere listeners and believers thereof. All right, so as you can see on the screen, um, we wanted to cover uh, um, this article. All right, um, we're not going to go into the whole article because it's pretty lengthy. Uh, brothers, feel free, you know, to um, to read further into it, you know, if if you if you like. Um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just start uh, start at the top, you know, read a little bit into it, and we're just gonna hit the precepts on it. Basically, man, this devil is about to make make his move, you know, and and guess what? The men of the Lord, you know, we're we're uh, we're anticipating it, you know. So this is uh, off of YahooNews.com. It says exclusive FBI document warns conspiracy theories are a new domestic uh, terrorism threat. All right. Uh, let me see if will video play. Yeah, it's on. It's on G. Continue on. It says the FBI, for the first time, has identified fringe uh, conspiracy theories as a domestic terrorist threat, according to a uh, previously. Um, publicized document obtained by Yahoo News. It says to read read document below. The FBI intelligence bulletin from the Bureau's Phoenix field office dated May 30th, 2019, describes conspiracy theory driven domestic extremists as a growing threat and notes that it is the first such report to do so. It lists a number of arrests, including some that haven't been publicized related to violent incidents motivated by fringe beliefs. You know, Esau think he's slick, man. <laughs> it says the document specifically mentions Q QA, a non, a shadowy network that believes in a deep state conspiracy against President Trump and Pizzagate. The theory that a pedophile ring, including Clinton associates, was being run out of the basement of a Washington D.C. pizza uh, pizza restaurant, which didn't actually have a basement. The FBI assesses these conspiracy theories very likely will emerge, spread, and evolve in the modern um, information marketplace, occasionally driven by groups and individual extremists to carry out criminal or violent acts. The document. Uh, states. It also goes on to say the FBI believes conspiracy theory driven extremists are likely to increase during the 2020 presidential election cycle. All right. The FBI said another factor drive, uh, driving the intensity of this threat is the uncovering of real conspiracies or cover ups involving illegal, harmful, or unconstitutional activities by government officials or leading political figures, the FBI does not specify which political leaders or which cover-ups it was referring to. It says, President Trump is mentioned by name briefly in the latest FBI document, which notes that the, the origins of QA9 is the uh, conspiratorial belief that Q allegedly a government official posts uh, classified information online to reveal a covert effort led by President Trump to, dismant to dismantle a conspiracy involving deep state actors and global elites allegedly engaged in an international child sex trafficking ring. That's right, because Esau is being exposed at the highest level possible right now, man. You know, by alternative media, okay? Hey, man, we chiefly cut straight to the truth, straight to the point, by the men of the Lord, by Great Millstone, the prophets, okay? You know, ultimately by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? It says, um, it says, this recent intelligence bulletin comes as the FBI is facing pressure to explain who it considers extremists and how the government prosecutes domestic terrorists. In recent weeks, the FBI director has addressed domestic terrorism 
multiple times but did not publicly mention this new conspiracy theorist threat. Um, it says the FBI is already under fire for its approach to the, the uh, domestic uh, extremism in a contin contentious hearing last week before the Senate Judiciary Committee. FBI Director Christopher Wray faced criticism from um, Democrats who said the Bureau was not focusing enough on white supremacist violence. The term white supremacist, white nationalist, is not included in your statement to the committee when you talk about threats to America. Senator Richard Durbin, uh, D, D3, or the third, said there is a reference to racism, which I think probably was meant to include that, but nothing more specific. All right. And I believe this may be the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the document, you know. Yeah. So they pretty much are demonizing you for bringing out true information, mm -hmm. you know, and that's basically what they, they've been doing for a while, but now they're just, uh, they're, they're just being, making it more, more, more of an attack on it. You know, because they've been already having these um, these big corporations like Google, YouTube, and Facebook hiding um, true like real information, classifying it as uh, fake fake news. That's mm -hmm. the whole. That's when it first started with the whole fake news and real news thing. Now it's just intensifying. And now you're being classified as a terrorist. Yep. At first it was being fake news, <laughs> saying that you it's disinformation, but now they can't disprove it, so you're just being classified as a terrorist. Yeah, because it's against everything that Esau's pushing. That's you know? right. Which he he pushes what nothing but lie and deception, you know. I, I, um, yeah, yeah. Go for it. And the, uh, the first one I want um, to get is Galatians four and sixteen. Okay. And it says, "Yep." Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And that's exactly what it is. You're the enemy of Esau, first and foremost. Yeah, they call it the, the so-called enemy of the state. Mm -hmm. Really, you're enemy of Esau. They try to say the state like you're trying to be against everyone, but really it's because you're coming against Esau. Mm -hmm. You're coming against his system. That's why you say you're an enemy of the state, not an enemy of the people. All right? It's because it's coming, you're coming against the, the narrative and the whole image that Esau is trying to push, you know? Everything he's pushing out there. You're you're bringing it out that it's all false. It's not real. It's not true, all right. And that's what he, that's what he hates, because he, he doesn't have a, a rebuttal or a counter argument for anything that you're saying. He can't disprove it. So what happens when he gets to the point to where he can't disprove it? He all his lies are just brought out in front of everybody, and he's fully exposed at that point. Yeah, and yeah, and then it gets to a point where he has to do something about it. Mm -hmm. He has to silence. The so-called truthers, like you like to call them, yep. all right? Those people that are exposing his lies and wickedness, you know, he has to demonize them. Yep. In which that's why he's coming up with this with this uh, uh, domestic uh, terrorist conspiracy theorist uh, 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 documentation, you know, this, this list, all right? You got it, bro. That was it on that one. I had yep. a different one, too. The second Corinthians 10. Okay. It's um Second Corinthians ten I'm sorry four. Yep. For for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. That's right. We're we're spiritual men, all right. We're spiritual war warriors, all right. We fight in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Well hey, um since you got that real fast, can you um what matter of fact we can we can get it after this uh, Hebrews four and twelve, mm -hmm. all right, because this this uh this word is, uh, alone is is um single handedly the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai alone single handedly is taking taking Esau uh, uh kingdom apart and exposing him, you know, and he's trying to what deem deem uh us all right because we're not a part of the, these other groups man all right these other uh. uh People, these extremists, all right. We're damn sure not a part of the Black Hebrew Israelite group, all right. We're spiritual men, all right. We're we're not a physical threat, okay. And and that's why what Esau has been moving on different brothers within within the uh within Great Millstone, you know, different camps, all right. 
uh, 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 telling them that they can't, they can't, um, they can't preach on certain streets. It's outlawed, or even uh, arresting brothers where they where they normally preach at. All right, you know, and bringing up uh, 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 false charges against them. Okay, because they know we're we're uh, uh, we're we're more of a spiritual threat, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Doc. Yeah. And they know we're telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, it says, <clears throat> For the weapons of our warfare and our carnal, but mm -hmm. mighty through the Abba Shingao Shai to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down, or well, if I can say this, yeah. because um, our, it say casting, um, pulling down strongholds because we're not, oh, going back to what the article was saying, mm -hmm. it's just the idea just got back to my mind. Yep. How, uh, they demon, they're trying to deem you as a terrorist when really you're, we're not physically doing anything, you know? We're just speaking. Mm -hmm. And for what are we doing by us speaking? We're pulling down all those strongholds. That's why we're being classified as a terrorist. You know, we're not physically harming anyone, yet the words that we're bringing out is harming Esau's lives. You know? Yeah, it's harming his plans, it's, it's exactly. his deception. It's messing up. That's that's why we're being considered terrorists because it's messing up everything that he's trying to, to his whole program. Yep. Everything that he's trying to make happen. We're we're letting it be known. It's supposed to be like, hey, man, no, this was a that was a false flag. No, he the reason this happened is because he did this. Yep. And it. Go ahead. So like, you can finish. All right, go ahead. No, I was gonna say even even his uh, even his um um his own people. You know mm -hmm. these alternative media sites are right, these truthers. Okay, they're bringing it out asap. You know, they're going straight into it. Guys like uh, uh, Christopher Green, mm -hmm. X-22, all right, so on and so forth. You know, they're, they're, uh, they're just, they, they, they're, they're exposing Esau, man. And we're, we're not doing nothing other than taking the information and filtering it through the scriptures and bringing it out. Yeah. You know, you got it, bro. It says casting down imaginations mm -hmm. and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You know, we're casting down all the imaginations of Esau, really. Yep. Because this is his society. You know, this is supposed to be his kingdom. And we're, what are we doing? We're breaking down his kingdom spiritually, you yep. know, first and foremost, because we're not physically doing anything. All right. We're not doing anything to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gives us the power to do so, all right? Mm -hmm. Right now, all we're doing is just we're destroying you by the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai by yeah. by bring, exposing you for the devil you are and exposing all the lies and deception that you press upon the world and the people, mm -hmm. telling everybody that you how you be, um you're you're planning to destroy everybody, you know the GMOs, the the Illuminati, all right, all the other all your other agendas and everything else you do. Yep. Yeah. We're to letting it all be known because you're not going to do it. Yeah, the um, how you plan on um, deceivably uh, uh, deceiving people into taking the R for your microchip, which is the mark of the beast in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? here it is. You present. You're literally presenting the um, the mark of the beast to the people. Yeah, you're not telling them that it is. Yep. That's that. You're, what do you call it? R a radio frequency. Um, R uh, yeah, radio frequency identification. You give it a different name. Yeah, so you know exactly that it's it's the mark of the beast written in the scriptures. Yep. But you try to paint it in a um, in a, in a good light. You know? Yeah, it's just it, it's just a chip, you know. It, it, it's beneficial to you. It's it's helpful. You need it. It's it's the future. All right, all that all that BS. Okay, amongst amongst other other things that that you uh, you devils are doing. Okay, with the sex trafficking they're going into that was that was huge mm -hmm. when I was coming into the uh, the first elections in which we're. We're uh we're entering. Well, I believe Trump gonna stay in there. He already said it. You know, he said it jokingly but seriously. You know, but um pretty much when uh Trump um Trump and and uh Hillary Clinton was going at it, all that all that sex ring, that hey the piece of gay which they mentioned, all that was was coming out, spirit cooking all that sick ass shit that you that you you devils do behind closed doors because you worship the spiritual demon Satan. Okay. Um, let me, you have more on that? No, that was it. Yeah, let me bring this out real fast since I, I called for it. This is, uh, Hebrews, Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, for the word of the Most High is quick. And that's why, it was the word of the Most High? These scriptures, man. Okay. 
in which ultimately uh, is Yahweh Shai, okay? Because he, well, he came in the volume of the book. Mm -hmm. It says, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the spirit, uh, so like it, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You yeah. see, yeah, you got it. Yeah, and that's this word mm -hmm. is basically it's discerning that you're the devil. Yep, you know? that you're telling lies. It's, it's bringing out everything because mm -hmm. this word holds weight. You know, yep. you can't disprove anything that we're saying. Everything that you're saying, we can pr disprove it, and that's why we're being deemed a terrorist just because of not because we're coming against the state, because we're coming against you and your agenda. Yep, that's really what it is. Esau just likes to flip everything. He's not going to just hourly, um, blatantly say it like that. You're a terrorist because you're coming against me and my plan. He's going to say you're a terrorist because you're coming against the state. Yeah, he, he's going to just point the uh, the finger. Mm -hmm. All right, you know. Yeah, this is this is our weapon right here, our spiritual weapon. Okay, which is this word, which is greater than any any uh physical weapon, especially the blessing that Esau has uh, obtained, which is ultimately going to be his downfall and ultimately his curse. It's better than any sword that Esau can make, man. All right? The word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And, and, and with this with this word being, uh, being gone out throughout the four corners of the earth, hey, man, his end has be, uh, began to manifest more, more quicker than ever. All right? So now what his attempt is to, is to uh, uh, change the narrative, point the finger, all right, and deem... Uh, uh, the men, the men of the Lord, as as terrorists. You got Project Megiddo. Mm -hmm. All right, you know Jake's on that list, man. You know, so this is all playing into his plan, in which, hey man, this is all the the will of Yah Bashim Yah Shah. At the end of the day, it's not going to go according to um to how you Edomites want it to go, man. All right, um, I got this precept right here. All right. Cause ultimately Esau is about to make his move. That's what he's. That's what he's letting letting be known. Okay. You know, the time of Jacob's trouble is at hand, man. This is uh, Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Yeah, and Esau knows that he has a short time. That's why he's. And he's pressing his agenda more and more on the people. They don't realize it, of course, because they don't even know what's going on in the first place. Yeah, we realize what's going on, so we can point that out. You know, as far as, like I said um, earlier, first it started out with it being um, disinformation and fake news. That was a, That's what he was putting on the troopers and everything, saying they're bringing out fake news or disinformation. Yeah, yeah. YouTube pulling certain videos, clipping, clipping videos, clipping channels. Mm -hmm. All right. You can't say certain things, you know. That's all part of his, his um, his attempt to to silence the truth. Yeah. You know, but he see that it, it does. It's not working. We can just create a new channel, <laughs> re-upload. All right, bring up more content because your wickedness it don't it don't stop. You know what I mean? And and and, and it's gonna continue to be spread and shared. He did away with Google Plus. Like, yo, weak-ass attempts is not going to stop. Hey, this word has already went out. You're not going to stop the prophecies, man. You know? Yeah, man, you got to do The devil got to do what the devil got to do, man. You know? We understand you got a job on the left-hand side that you have to fulfill. You got you got, you got, got to fulfill the will of the Lord on the left-hand side. So the devil is going to come down. The devil is the Ray Edomite, the so-called white man, Esau. Okay? Chiefly the wicked elites, the deep state. All right? The Rothschilds, the Duponts, all right, Rockefellers, okay, those guys who are in the, uh, uh, the power seat, those who know what time it is, all right. You know, this is not just no regular, everyday Edomite, man. No Trump supporter, no, nah, man. Every hey, these these people know that they 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 set set up Trump, all right. You know, um. Yeah, so Esau is about to come down, and who he's going to come down upon? The Israelites, okay? Mm -hmm. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because he knows his, his kingdom is, is, is at an end. 
here it is. Uh, we just had the what they called it the, the um, the, I think the super black moon. Yeah. You know, all right, hey, amen. And that's another sign of what Esau's in. He's seeing this. Okay, he's bugging out. Isaiah forty-seven chapter. He's wearing weary in his counsel. All right, and he has to make a move. Yeah, it's yeah. it's getting to the point. It's now or never. Mm -hmm. You know. You know it's over for him. Yep. And now he's just doing. He's just going all out. Mm -hmm. Yep. I got this right here. Um. It's like, yep, right here. This is in the book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen. All right, I'm gonna start at the uh, verse seventy. Okay, it says, "For there shall be, in every place, and in the next cities, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord." Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the Israelites. Okay, you know, Esau is about to is about to uh, uh, come down. The time of Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah thirty and seven. Okay, and we're not excluded from that, man. Yeah, you know. So Esau is gonna move, uh, uh, move, uh, come down upon the Israelites, man. Martial law, you know. Yeah. You got trying to push his agenda because yep. he knows he knows the scriptures. Are right? the top elites that not these regular regular Edomites? Are right? the top elites that's really running the show? That's behind the scenes, and you don't even see them. All right, they know they know the scriptures and the prophecies in the scriptures, and they're still they still think they have a chance to offset the prophecies. That's why they're trying to still go forward with their agenda. Yep. Yeah, and they and they know that these Babylonians don't subscribe to the to the uh the mainstream media as they once was. They don't trust yeah. their government. Cuz government means uh uh means to what? Control your mind. Mm -hmm. So these people are not are not uh uh easily swayed anymore by what you put uh put in front of them. You They're looking at exposed too much. Yeah, you you've been exposed uh uh greatly. All right. So what? People are looking for out, outward sources. All right, you know. Um, it says, "For there shall be in every city, uh, every place, and in the next cities, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord." Yeah, and that's how they're gonna be. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be like madmen. All right, and you can see that a, a small a small sample of that as far as how they're they telling the dudes to move as far as brothers um, brothers bringing out the word on the street, arresting the men. Yeah. Um, that is bringing out the word. So like soon they're just going to just just start rolling up on you. You know, mm -hmm. not even debating you, just like just rolling up on you and arresting you and just taking you off the street. That's why scriptures say that now in Revelations, you know, mm -hmm. the second chapter. All right, how you're going to be sent to prison. All right, just for bringing out the word. Not even, they're deeming you a terrorist for not even actually doing anything. When here it is, Esau doing all manner of evil. And he's literally, we literally got the proof that he's done it. Yeah, he doesn't get in any type of trouble. Yeah, we're getting in trouble for proclaiming what the judgment that's going to take place upon you. Mm -hmm. We're not the ones who's going to do it. So yeah, how about Shemya Shai as well? That's right, man. It says, for they shall waste and take away their goods. And cast them out of their houses. Yeah, that's because Esau has a list. I, I forgot the colors. I think it's red, yellow, green. Blue. Oh, okay, blue. There you go. The water. Pretty much. So he has the list. He has a list of, of those who he can still control. Yep. Those those who he have to put to death, which he know he got, he's going to have to uh, approach the men of the Lord just like that. All right? And and, and those that he can, he can reprogram. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yet all that is going to be done in what? In a concentration camp. That's what they set up for. That's mm -hmm. what they, uh, that movie, uh, 1984, they're showing you that. They was in a concentration, re-education camps. That's really what they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So they, they re-educate you for the people who, who are in the middle, so to speak, who they can persuade, who they can re-educate. That's basically what they're going to do. Tell you, basically, you know, do what they got to do to you, whether it be torture and whatever, and then force you to get with the program. You can then you more more likely you know people who are scared to death so they're easily going to be persuaded yet it's people that are not scared you know that's not going to um, change their their morals so to speak and those are the ones that's on that on that list I, don't, I forgot what color it was but for the list the ones that are just totally against that program I believe I want to say red but I could be mistaken but yeah it's it's one of those colors for sure mm -hmm. all right it says um. 
for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, yeah. and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Yeah, when all this is going down, that's when it's going to be made known who the chosen men of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai are. Yep. All right, the men who who are still out there surviving while all this is taking place. Mm-hmm. Because everybody, it's going to be like a lot of judgment taking place then. All right, neighbor against neighbor. All right, civil and rest, civil war, famine, pestilence, plagues, all these different things taking place. Yet the only only people who are going to be protected from all these these said perils are the men of Yah Bashim Yah mm -hmm. That's right. It says, um, "Here, O ye, my beloved," which is talking about the house of David. You know, the elect. Saith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, behold the days of trouble are at hand, the time of Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. Daniel's the twelfth, uh, twelve and one, are the time of trouble like there has never been. Okay, but I will deliver you from the same. Yeah, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai gonna deliver us from it. Mm -hmm. We have to have faith in that. Yep. Like the scripture says in Sirach, try for the truth unto death, and I will fight for thee. Yep. That's what we gotta do. You know. No matter how hard it gets, because we know that it is going to be hard, yet it's it's not hard compared to the glory that we're going to receive. You know? mm -hmm. It's a light thing that we have to go through, and all we have to do really is keep faith in Yahweh mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai. He's going to take care of us. It's not even a difficult thing, you know. That's right. It's very simple as far as all you have to do is just keep the faith, man, to the very end. Yep. Yeah, I got this for you since you uh, referred to it. All right, because this is all prophecy, man. It's all in the scriptures, in which Esau want to do away with the scriptures, man. All right, because it don't it, it exposes him, okay, and um and it speaks about his his downfall, his destruction, his wickedness, and then ultimately what his extermination. You know, um, this is Revelation twelve and ten. It says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer." Because best believe, man, that's a part of this truth is is to suffer, you know, all right, to be uh, uh to to uh to obtain patience, which means to what to be long suffering, because we're gonna suffer in this thing, man, all the way to the end, all right. It's two and ten. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm on. Oh, okay. So like, yeah, I don't know if I recorded it wrong. I I'll read it again. This is Revelation two and ten. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Yeah, you have to be faithful unto death. You know, that's the main thing, is keeping the faith. Yep. Real, just keeping the faith no matter what you're going through. No matter if it's to the point to where you don't even know if you're going to make it or not, still keeping the faith. Mm -hmm. You know, no, no matter how dire the situation gets. You know, not losing the faith. All right. And you already see certain men being arrested for bringing out the worry. And it's only going to increase as we get closer to the end. Yep. Because as we're getting closer to the end, what's going to be happening? More of the prophecies. And we're the only ones speaking on the prophecies and relating it to the scriptures. Yep. All right. So that's what there's going to be more of a reason for Esau to come and try to arrest us and take us off the streets. Because nobody else is speaking on the things going on except for the men of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yep. The prophets, you know. Um, I'll bring this one out. We can we can close on this unless you unless you had anything else. This is um Saint Matthew chapter ten. I'll start at verse sixteen. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Yeah, we're in the midst of wolves, you know. Mm -hmm. Really a serpent. All yep. right. And we have to be wise wise as serpents and harmless as doves. You know, mm -hmm. we have to, we, have, we know the what we can and what we can't do, how to function within Esau society. You know, uh, soon it's going to get to a point where you can't say, like, just like in New York, you can't say faggot or certain words, cursing and stuff in certain countries. Yep. All right. You, you got to be wise in how you're conducting yourself and how you're speaking because Esau is trying to find Look, any excuse yep. to relate us to being a terrorist, you know. Yep. To any excuse to take us off the streets, so we're just gonna have to be more wise in the, our words that we're using and how we're carrying ourselves in these last days. You mm -hmm. know, because Esau is trying to find anything to to um, trap us up on. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why we gotta be wise as serpents and yep. harmless as doves because we don't need to be doing anything like physical. All right, 
we're, we do the physical when Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gives us that spiritual power. All right, that's when you could be physical, all right? Actually executing judgment and stuff until then. We don't need to be getting in, into anything physical with Esau, man. It's a spiritual battle first and foremost. Yeah. All right, so we're supposed to be harmless as doves. We're waiting upon Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to execute the judgment. Yep, that's right. Yeah, and ultimately, this devil is going to make his move regardless, mm -hmm. you know? So all we can do is is um with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai allows allows us to do in the spirit, you know, which we've been doing. All right. Hey man, we ain't been doing nothing wrong, obviously. That's why he saw that's why he saw trying to make these moves, man. Okay. It says uh verse 17, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. For a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. But what for what testimony? Let me bring this out real fast. Alright. Um I believe Revelation 19 and 10. Yep. Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Yep. So that's the testimony that we're going to be uh, 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 brought before these rulers and these governors to, uh, to, to, to testify, you know, the spirit of prophecy to uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, ultimately, you know, the truth, what we've been, what we've been saying, okay? Because um, we, are, we are the servants, the prophets, whether you want to uh, uh, regard it or not. It's back in St. Matthew 10 and 18. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my, for my sake. So yeah, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. You yeah. see, for his sake. All right. His testimony. For a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a testimony against them because what are we doing? We're, we're, we're claiming judgment against this place, man. Yep. And against everybody that's wicked in, in this world, man. So mm -hmm. it's really pro proclaiming judgment, um, proclaiming, uh, pro yeah, we're, just, uh, we're pr bringing out this word, and it's proclaiming judgment on everyone, man. Yep. Uh, and that's why they're going to come up against us. What is that? Jeremiah eight twenty eight, the prophets of old have prophesied yep. against kingdoms. Yep. All right. That's why we're deemed terrorists because mm -hmm. we're we're prophesying against this place. You know, things that we're saying is not for this place; it's against it. Yep. And that's exactly why we're being deemed terrorists because we're not for East we're not for Esau's kingdom, we're against his kingdom. All right. Yep. Ultimately the Lord is against your kingdom. Mm -hmm. We're always saying is the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Yep, that's the spirit that we're coming in. Yeah. And the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is against you. Mm -hmm. That's why Esau hates us, because he hates Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Yep. That's right, man. Uh verse nineteen. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. Yep, so we don't even have to think about what we're going to say, man. You know, don't even worry about, man, what I'm, what I'm going to say or this and that. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to put the Spirit on you to say whatever you, you need to say. Yep, you know? that's you right. Don't even meditate upon, you know, just let the Spirit handle it. Yeah, that's right, man. It says, verse 20, For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Exactly. There you go. Mm -hmm. It's not you that's speaking. It's the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai speaking that's in you. So don't even worry about what you're gonna say in that time. If it happens to you and when it happens, hey, don't, just just you know, roll in the spirit. Like brothers always say, we can't sit here and speak on what we gonna do when the time of Jacob's trouble. All we can say is we gonna trust in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Ultimately, okay. that's right, man. Verse twenty one, and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death. And the and the father the ch um the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have you're gonna have your um your own family members, those who know you, you know, turn uh, uh turn on you. They're gonna be uh, uh you're gonna be deceived by Esau's by Esau's uh, uh witchcraft. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, this is a terrorist. Yeah. Oh man, I gotta turn them in. Or oh, oh, turn yourself in. You know. A setup, okay. Hey, it's all through the spirit, though. You know, ultimately, it says, um, verse twenty-two, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. 
Yeah, it's already like that now. Mm-hmm. Everybody that sees us on the on the highways and byways, they, they hate us. Oh, they hate us for bringing out the word. You got you got a uh, uh, vocab man. Mm -hmm. He definitely hate uh, uh, the men of y'all by from y'all side. Great he's millstone. A, he's obsessed. He's like a fan dang near because he he can't like you. You just bothering him. You rolling up with different camps and stuff, going out of your way. Yeah, that's hatred, man. It's pure hatred. That's some Edomite shit, man. That's why you're Edomite, okay? Uh. It says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. And that's what it's all about. That's it's, right. It's enduring until the end. Yep. Because that's the same, that, that's when you're going to be saved, if you're enduring to the very end. Mm -hmm. So you can't just tap out and then try to jump back in at the very last second. You got to endure everything, you know, until the very end. That's right, man. Stay faithful unto death. All right, like the scripture said, man. You know, all right, because we already have the victory in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, we already won in the spirit. We just have to uh, endure until the end, in, in which is obvious that we're at. We're at. We're at the end, man. Okay, you know. Um. So yeah, that's that's it. All right. Um. Brothers can feel free to read more on the article. I know the elder brother uh Kwana Waf, he did a lesson on this as well, man. You know, this is this is uh the latest, the latest on the press. All right. More more uh Esau being revealed, what he has on his agenda. And ultimately, you know, oh man, let me let me um let me uh close out on this, matter of fact. Because ultimately, when Esau makes his move, Yahweh Shai, uh Yahweh Yahweh Shai is gonna make his. You know, the Lord is going to counteract. Okay. Um, so I think it's probably 54. Bear with me, Salakia. So that's why we're anticipating because we already know uh, uh, what has to be done. You know, and, and we know that these things have to come to pass so that what? So that we can be uh, uh, delivered. Lord's will. You know, we'd be of that, that hopeful number. Yep. Uh, I got. It. I got. So it. Like, you got it. Yep. Yeah. So like, yeah. Isaiah fifty nine and nineteen. Yeah, I figured. I was on the wrong one. Hold on. Uh, yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and His glory from the rising of the sun. Okay. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Mm hmm And that's what's gonna happen at the end, you know. Yep. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gonna intervene. And he's gonna lift up that standard, man. Yeah. Know? That's that's what like you quoted in um in Surak, you know, strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee. Hey the Lord, hey, and the Lord is on his way back. You know? Uh uh Yahweh Shai is returning with the innumerable amount of angels, man. Like I quoted Daniel the twelve and one. Even the archangel Michael is gonna be uh involved in this, man. Okay? You know, to what? To defend the Lord's uh elect, all right. Those that fear and believe in his in him, all right, in his son, Yahweh why Yahweh Shai, and to destroy the wicked, and those that cleave unto him, man, in his society. You two thirds. All right. So yeah, that's that's what it is. You know, like I said, brothers can feel free to read further into the article. All right. This devil is gonna move sooner than later. You know, and, and like I uh, like I said, we're anticipating it. All right, bring it on, you know. Okay, because the sooner you move, hey, the, uh, the Lord is going to move even quicker, man. You lost, all right, Esau? So with that, hopefully this lesson was uh, edifying. We're going to go ahead and close out once again, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash, you know, and to the next time, we're going to say Shalom to the elect, you know, Shalom. Shalom.